Hey guys, just thought I would show a little bit. Uh, Joe just got his new books. Uh, he is fixing to start his new year and the ninth grade, which would be high school from our home state. We're very excited about it. I figured I'd show you some of the books. Of course, he homeschools here. Uh, and I'm going to show you the textbooks, but he, there's bukus of other books, literature uh, books, and oh my God, I got a probably a three foot by three foot box, just huge box full of uh, testing materials, uh, teaching materials, and of course, he does the online classes, but I figured I'd show you some of his textbooks here. This is Science, Energy, and Matter. And this is a Science Laboratory book. This is a pretty elite uh, thing he's got. Here's a project book for uh, the science and technology, engineering and mathematics all together. And this science here, he's got a lot of mathematics in, in this science. So. Uh, here is his health book. Which is a lot more extensive. Uh, he's going to be taking some CPR classes as well. Which I'm excited about because I get to take those with him. This is... Uh, World Geography with Political and Cultural Profiles. And I believe we're also, there's another uh, World History uh, book in there also. I just didn't get it in here where I'm at right now. It's algebra, more algebra. They are algebra, algebra, algebra in this school, just algebra. So uh, writing, grammar, and composition. English. This is a literature book, one of them. And I don't know what kind of stories are going to be in here this year. Uh, but he does this and he does uh, uh, the, the other uh, stuff too. It's just a bunch of good stories in here. They're from a Christian perspective, which I like. Uh, here's a little something. I just flicked open to it on pronouns here. Real pronouns, not fake and phony ones. And this is his spelling, vocabulary, and poetry book. And as much as we stress the boxing, which is his sport of choice, mine too, uh, we, we stress on the uh, uh, academics just as much. Uh, everything we do around here uh, is designed to turn him into a winner. And this is the... Uh, and it, it's pretty extensive. It's the kings of Israel in biblical time. It's got an in-depth study on the kings of Israel and what they were doing. So it's a 
good, strong logist of uh, what was happening in biblical times along with biblical, uh, all the biblical things that actually happened in conjunction with these leaders and who were leaders at the time going all the way up through to the last king governor. So we got a, a, a lot of, a uh, lot of stuff here. It's pretty interesting. A lot of math in the, in all, in, uh, the sciences, which I like as well. So anyway, just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of it. Like I said, I got a big, huge, great, big, gigantic, box i can't even fit how wide the box is in the screen here but he's got his work cut out for him this year but he'll do it and he'll be excellent at it as he's been in the other eight years of schooling that he's had so we'll just continue on and move forward but anyway i want to stress to all you guys uh, you know, we've got a lot of boxers watching this channel, a lot of older boxers, a lot of younger boxers. Uh, and if you're still in school, you really, really need to concentrate on your studies and your schoolwork. Uh, sports is nothing for you to just assume that you're going to be that great that you can fall back on it. Uh, now, of course, around here, uh, Joe's banking on the fact that he might make a hundred million dollars, three hundred million dollars, a billion dollars in his day. Uh, but you got to be smart enough upstairs to know uh, what's going on in this world and what to do with your money if you are lucky enough to make it in a, in a sport. So you got to have the academics, no matter how good you are uh, at any given sport. Uh, academics needs to, you've got to have it. And that needs to come the first thing. So, and for you older guys that are fighters or fans of the fight game, uh, if you've got kids, you need to really stress with them and work with them and be involved in their every aspect of their life and uh, every aspect of their academic sports and whatnot, every aspect, spiritually, physically, and mentally. And uh, I'll end you with a famous thing, quote in the, 1980s where Walter Cronkite did a commercial uh, if you don't know where your kids are it ought to scare you to death and so be involved with the kids